Hi, welcome back everybody. It's Mike Newton down here at Lytham Golf Academy and I've got a long iron utility head-to-head -head battle uh, in this video for you. So just recently done a review of the brand new Wilson Staff model utility iron, which I really enjoyed hitting. That was a very nice club. And I'm going to put it up with my current gamer, which is the MP20 HMB 2 iron. So both two irons, they're going to go head-to-head. -head. Going to see if possibly the Wilson one, knowing that I play with the Wilson Staff irons uh, in my bag, so that would be quite a nice sort of neat sort of slot in uh, to match up with my current set but I'm going to see if it's good enough to bump out the HMB which I do like I love the performance of that so it'll be a very interesting sort of results to see which one possibly will make into my bag. Okay so I'm going to start off with my current game which is the Mizuno MP20 HMB 2 iron um, so a little disclaimer here, um, the Wilson Staff Utility Iron isn't built to my exact specs, so there is some differences here. The HMB 2 Iron is 16 degree, the Wilson is an 18 degree, so it is a little bit stronger with the MB, HMB. Uh, HMB, I've got a KBS S Taper 130X, which is a steel shaft, which is smoked out, so it looks like a graphite, but it's actually steel. Uh, in the Wilson, it's the KBS Hybrid graphite shaft in an 80. So there is some differences of the shaft, so and also a little bit of the length, so it's a little bit longer in the HMB. So with knowing that, we know probably that the HMB is going to go further as a distance. But what I want to really want to see here is just a little bit of the feel for me, a little bit of the flight um, that I'd like to maybe sort of see a little bit more and just something that maybe gives me that little bit more confidence off the tee. So I'm going to start, as I said, with the HMB. We're going to hit a batch of shots. As I say, I've played with this a few times. I've not had it long in the bag, just pretty much since the HMB sort of launched. It's a nice opening shot. Very penetrating on its flight, but ease of getting that ball launching with that hollow head construction, same as the Wilson, it's hollow head in that construction. So we do get that nice level of forgiveness that we would like to sort of see, especially this two iron area, because we know it's not the easiest club to hit. That's lovely, just a fraction on that bottom. Bottom of the club face there, but still flies out very, very nicely. 238, so it's not massively long there. Now, obviously, a difference that is going to be through the shaft, you know, going from a steel 130X, which is in that heavyweight bracket, isn't it? And obviously, in a two iron, and I have it sort of half inch longer, so we've added in all, always adding that little bit of weight into these. And I think through the past, I've always sort of sometimes struggled a little bit with the steel shaft, cause, just because it gets quite heavy, it just sometimes feels a little bit hard work maybe feels a little bit more punishing on those um, miss hits where previously in other drive irons that I've had in the Strixon U45 I had in my Telemade UDI P790 which I had of a graphite and that always felt a little bit more forgiving uh, on the actual sort of miss hits but I've said that when I do get the strike on this HMB the flight is very strong very sort of penetrating which I do also like See that, I've struck that, I've pulled that up the left hand side just fractionally, but I've, I've middled that, so that feels great. You know, when I middle it, it's like forward, it's really piercing, 251, decent distance there, and I think, yeah, that's great, I love that, but then just when I hit like that previous shot, I hit a little bit bottomly, I get a lot of vibration, a lot of, um, you know, that sort of deader feel through that, that heavier steel shaft. I mean, the flight's lovely. Flight's great. Really penetrating on that flight. Okay, I'm gonna hit one more, and then we'll switch into that Wilson. Oh, I'm gonna absolutely crunch that. Absolutely nailed that. That felt fantastic. Maybe expect a little bit more distance, 244 total there. Okay, so there's the MP20 HMB. That's my current gamer, which I do enjoy. I love the flight of it. As I say, got a couple of little negatives there. Maybe just through that shaft option more than anything. Not, not really the head, to be honest. Um, let's move into the Wilson. We'll hit some shots with that. See if there's any real differences there. We'll look at some numbers after that as well. 
Okay, so Wilson staff model utility iron, brand new to the market. Um, and as many of you will know, I do play with the, the staff model blade irons, which I think are fantastic. So this would be quite a, a simple sort of add-on for me in terms of matching it up with a, what I'm currently sort of using. But at the same time, it's got to do a job, it's got to perform, and it's got to sit right with how I sort of feel. I d I've done a recent review of this, so you can go and check that out. I'll put a little link up there and you can check that one out in a little bit more detail. But again, it's that hollow head construction, a little bit of weighted screw at the bottom just to help with a little bit of uh, launch and forgiveness there and putting that down by the ball. Again, it looks great. It's a very similar sort of look to the MP20, maybe just slightly, just get these two up side by side and I'll put a little image up on the screen for you there. Um, maybe slightly, little, slightly longer in that blade length, fractionally, fractionally thicker on that top edge and a little bit more offset. So, as I said in my review, the offset probably just puts me off a tiny bit. I just don't like to see too much offset there. I just feel like I can get that working up that left-hand side a bit too much there. Where the HMB has, a, you know, just a tiny bit of offset, which I do I sort of prefer in a way. But having said that, a little bit more of that polished finish there. And I think emotions for me, knowing that I love my irons so much in the staff, it's like, well, I sort of want to put that in there. It's, it's asking to go in there just to complete my sort of Wilson look, polish sort of feel and, and you know, a visual just to really sort of sit in there. So as I say, this is a KBS hybrid shaft. So it's a graphite, it's 80 gram, much lighter than that steel that I've just hit in the MP20. And it isn't longer than standard um, to build to me. And it is a stiff and not an X. So there is some differences here, but let's get this first one hit. Ooh, that felt lovely, lovely. Nice flight there and straight away that, that's gone further, which I did see in my review, getting it around that sort of 255 total there. So it's, it's, it's up against it a little bit in a way because I've got two degrees more loft with the Wilson than the HMB. So in theory, that shouldn't go as far. Um, it's probably a good half inch shorter in length. So again, I shouldn't really create as much speed with the Wilson against the HMB. So again, it shouldn't go as far. Having said that on the flip side of things, I'm now in a graphite shaft, it's lighter, so potentially I can create a little bit more speed. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna look at the club head speed on this occasion. I'd be quite interested to sort of see, you know, with the shorter shaft here and in the but in the graphite lighter if I can create that little bit more speed, or is it really gonna come through ball speed as in the material in the head because we've now got like a C300 Mirage in sort of steel here, which is quite a harder harder steel which is helping on ball speed with the Wilson. So it'd be interested to sort of see if it's a tech in the head or whether it's just literally the weight difference that's allowing me to swing the club a little bit quicker. Oh my life, that's awesome. <laughs> just fractionally up that right hand side but very much in play again. 256 great distance there it just flies off the club face i think it i think this shaft is making a big difference for me um and i have as i said before play with graphite shafts in the past always felt comfortable and i hit that hmb with that steel shaft and i look i did like it i got some really good penetrating flights which was very very appealing for me um but I can definitely see the forgiveness level having that graphite shaft, which is where a lot of the brands now put them in as a standard option. I think it's a good thing for a lot of golfers. It's just getting the right flex. I'll probably have this a little bit longer just for my, obviously, height, and I'll probably just put this in an X just to give me a little bit more stability with it, but it feels so much easier to hit. See, that wasn't perfect. That's a bit toey. It's turned up the left a fraction. Not by much, but it's long, it's long. 261 and that wasn't middled. Yeah, so, so there's a big difference of distance there. And I wasn't expecting that really because of obviously the Wilson being less lofted and shorter in length, so it shouldn't be creating as much speed. But as we say, the graphite could be doing the, the trick here. Ah, oh, I mean, that's, <laughs> I'm speechless. Just a fantastic ball flight. And again, 259, edging that 260. Okay, so there we go. There's the Wilson hit. We've hit the HMB. I can feel some very big differences between those two clubs. Just ease of use, the forgiveness aspect 
hard for you to obviously feel that well you can't feel that just watching this, this is where you'd have to go out and test it yourself but for me that felt much much easier but let's look at some numbers we've clearly seen some more distance but let's look at dispersion let's look at spin and 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 ball speed as well as that club head speed which will be an interesting one to look at also okay so we're going to look at dispersion on the right hand side here to start with so you see the red is the hmb the blue is the wilson star so clearly more distance with the Wilson as we could see there, but still a really good tight dispersion with both clubs to be honest. But clearly just getting that little bit more distance there, which is quite appealing. And I wasn't quite expecting that, you know, again because of that loft and length differences. Moving into the actual numbers themselves. So we I'm gonna look at club head speed first. So moving this into the club head speed. Oh, that's interesting. So we can see MP20 averaging at 102.1. And the staff at 101.4. So it's actually, I mean, it's identical really. It's a bit fraction slower with the Wilson. So probably because of that shorter length is creating that less speed. But I thought I might have got more speed because of the bigger weight difference from going from the steel to the graphite. So it's actually a smidgy slower. Okay. Efficiency wise, much better. 1.43 there and the smash there, much, much more efficient. Um, so clearly struck that much better. So looking into the ball speed then, MP20 clearly having a slightly more club head speed, actually created 140.3 mile an hour ball speed average. Wilson 144.7, so a huge jump of ball speed there with the Wilson. Probably again, I collected my strike much better. I felt a little bit more confident because of the weight of it, Front, swung it a little bit more freer. Having said that, it was slower, wasn't it? So maybe is it that C300 um, face on there doing its job and creating some extra ball speed? Again, bearing in mind, I've got two degrees more loss, so that should also create slightly less ball speed than the straighter face club, so quite interesting there. Launching 9.6, 10.5, so maybe the steel shaft and the X is just creating that slightly lower launch there. We should sort of typically expect. Spinning at 3000 with the MP20, 275 one with the Wilson, which is good. So a little bit lower spinning. So I've got that slightly higher launch, more ball speed, slightly lower on that spin. It's going to go further because of those numbers. So we're looking at peak height 23 against 26, so fractionally higher with the Wilson. Again, probably a little bit through that loft. 221 average on the carry distance, running 242, and we've got the Wilson at 235, running at 257. So significant difference there, but the big fact that it felt much more easy for me to hit, much more friendlier, um, and gave me a lot more confidence. Right guys, so there we go. There's, for me, two very nice uh, utility irons. You know, MP20, HMB, it's, I've enjoyed it. It's been in there, did you see that? I've enjoyed it, I think you know what's gonna come next. Uh, but for me, Wilson staff, I think emotions, I've got the blades, love them to pieces. Um, that sort of, I sort of want that to go in my bag, but obviously it's got to do a job. It's got to be better than what I've got at the moment. And for me, it is, it's easy to use, more forgiving for me. Um, I think that shaft, graphite shaft is better. So you could argue, well, if I put a graphite shaft H and B, do I get the numbers like I do with the Wilson? I don't know, but I think through that motions of the Wilson staff, the polished head, it sits into what I've got at the moment in my set. Um, ball speed was fantastic there, ease of use. Um, as I did one of my review video, I hit a lot more sort of stinger shots and I could do that really easily as well. So it's very versatile, which is also a good aspect when you're out on the golf course, when you want to play around with that ball flight, you want a club that you can potentially do that with. And that's, uh, I feel very, very confident in that. So newcomer to the bag, Wilson staff model, very pleased to accept that and slot in with my current irons. So post comments down below let me know your thoughts on this particular video if you've enjoyed the video please hit that thumbs up button it does make a big difference and also if you're watching and you haven't subscribed please consider doing so and while you're there ring the bell so as soon as the video lands you'll get a notification you'll be one of the very first ones to watch it plenty more content coming your way so um very much thank you for watching appreciate it as always and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon